like just getting some first team reps and trying guard? Uh, it's been a blessing just to be able to compete with the best guys on the team, go out there and kind of show what I can do. <laughs> days into it, a couple days of practice into it, kind of really like it a lot. Everything's a lot tighter, a lot more physical, which is basically what we're here to do. Uh, a lot of the work that Jake's done over the past two years, nobody really knows about, but he came in with me and kind of absorbed the playbook a lot faster than I possibly could have, and he's just been doing a great job. Mike Zimmer said that the coaches had approached you about moving to guard at some point this summer. Um, what was that message like? I guess why did they think you'd be a good fit there? Um, honestly, just because of the physical abilities that God gave me. Pretty, I'm six six, about uh, long arms, kind of quick. So if you can put that in a compact area, you've got a pretty good guard. And I guess that's what they saw in me. Looking forward. How, what's that transition felt like, just being outside of left tackle, you're on an island, you have a lot more space to work within, to being inside, I guess, what's that like? The space, everything's a lot tighter, you're, you're probably going to want to punch a lot sooner than you think, and uh, you're moving some big guys, like Dalvin's out there, he's like, as much as I weigh, and, except he's compact, so it's just a lot of torquing and uh, physicality that goes to the position. Can you rely on Ezra? Yeah, I mean, looking at him at right guard on like last year's game tape, and then just talking to him, watching him do the exact same things I do on the opposite side, he kind of has been, you know, giving me pointers on what to do, what kind of not to do, switching from tackle to guard. What do you think that you showed in practice in the last couple of years to sort of get this bigger opportunity? I have no clue. <laughs> if I'm being one to honest with you, I just work. I do whatever they told me to do, and that's kind of been my mindset since I came in here and I got the playbook. Has it been like working with Phil Ralph or years or Phil's awesome uh, character, but he's honestly the fun. My I feel like what he's taught me fundamentally, especially on the transition from tackle to guard, has helped me a lot these first couple practices. Uh, a little bit loud sometimes, but the message is clear usually that he just wants everyone to get better, so you can uh, definitely appreciate that. Is he allowed allowed inside the building? No. When we're watching film and chilling, he's all right, but outside he's just <laughs> loud. <laughs> <laughs> When you have such a, you know, a, a coaching change that happens such a quick part, uh, it happens so quickly before the season starts, how has the offensive line room navigated that? I think we've done a pretty good job. Everyone's kind of getting the, uh, it's the same scheme, so it's ultimately like we're, our jobs are the exact same. Kind of just learning how to do it differently because Phil has his way of uh, how he believes an offensive line should do a certain thing and kind of just getting that and putting it into the schemes that we, we're learning is basically where we're at right now. Once you mentioned that, you know, looking back at the Week 17 versus Chicago stuff from two years ago, you feel like you've grown a lot since then. What, what kind of areas of growth have you experienced? Just knowing, uh, like, my set angles, kind of knowing what I'm supposed to, like, how I'm supposed to approach a quick scat versus like a quick play versus like how I'm supposed to approach regular play action and stuff like that. Kind of just my understanding of the scheme of football translates to how I perform out on the field. And that, that footwork that you have to learn, is it difficult transitioning from like right to left and left to right? Yeah, I would say so. I mean, I mean, it's it's flipped, but it's also kind of like your balance. Like, if for someone who's mainly only played right side, your balance is kind of like. But ultimately, it's a, a challenge, and I 
would gladly accept one, you know, so that's just kind of how I've approached it. Enjoy the change yet? Or focus and work? Oh, I mean, I'm enjoying getting the reps for sure. Uh, kind of just focusing in on everything that I have to, you know, going from tackle to guard, the different things that you're, different things you're responsible for, got to approach it differently and kind of just getting that right is definitely what practice is for. How is the offensive line room with some of the rookies that may be contributing early, someone like Darisov who hasn't seen the field much, how do you make sure that someone stays, I guess, like locked in or like up where they need to be so maybe it's a little bit more seamless when they can come back? Um, just Phil and Ben, Coach Ben, uh, Rashad, Brian are definitely getting on him. Just to stay in the training room and be locked in on those meetings and when we're out there for walkthrough and practice, I see him, he's watching, he's locked in asking questions, so that's always good. I guess just for you, like every day, we'll see it left tackle and then you'll be at right guard, you'll be moving around, like, is it just like, kind of like, you have to kind of like retrain the mind of like moving around that much, like, okay, I'm here, I need to be doing this, my hands need to be here when I'm over on this side of the line? Yeah, you do, but it ultimately when you know, like, the scheme, it helps it a lot, like, when you know you're going on the back side of a wide zone, it's, it's basically, are you the covered guy or are you the uncovered guy? And, how you move from there is basically going to be the same whether you're a tackle or guard. What do you take from Rashad, who's a guy who's drafted and I think later round draft pick and sort of worked his way up after years of being a backup to not have opportunities down here? Yeah, I mean, nothing but love for Rashad. When I first came in, he was one of the guys who coached me up about what it is to be a tackle in the NFL and how to approach your everyday practice meetings and. Nothing but advice has come from him towards me since I got here, so I've got a lot of appreciation for it, for him.